Hi everybody, I am Monica and I'm here today standing with two amazing local El Paso artists. We've got Diego Robot and Tino Ortega and they've got a whole new gallery and it's an opening that you won't want to miss. We're gonna hear more about it. Okay, so Galeria Lincoln came together from just years of working together. Uh, we actually met in the art community and we just had like this tight bond ever since. And we've been collaborating in other works and some of our pieces and this is just another collaborative effort that we're putting together. Yeah, we felt like it was just really fitting for both of us to, you know, because we both have taken different routes in our community. So he went one way, I went the other way, and now we kind of just meet in the middle. Um, even comparing our styles, we're completely different. And so he's very surreal, where I'm very just colorful and bright. And so even in our taste, um, we're opposite. So it's interesting to see how, you know, just two opposites kind of coming together as artists and really trying to just do our best foot forward for all artists. We're trying to build a platform for the community. We're trying to build a staple. So now that we're here, it's up to us to make it happen. And uh, we're including everyone in El Paso on the journey, on the duck, you know, and just, you know, on this path to following our dreams and that anyone can do this. Anyone in El Paso can do this. It doesn't matter if you're from Horizon or the, for like me or the hood, Lord or like the Lower Valley, like Lord Tino. Yeah. Like, Anything can happen, for sure, yeah. So the space just kind of like fell in our lap. We were just fortunate to have like, uh, known the right people at the right time type of thing. And the location just spoke to both of us because what other spot better than in the heart of El Paso, right? The major artery from Juarez to Las Cruces, to Alamo Gordo to Fort Hancock, you know, like it just, Fort Stockton and all that, like it's just a main central hub for all these locations. So um, we're yeah. going to try to hopefully, um, you know, bring more life into it. Yeah, the the, Gal the Lincoln area has always been known for art and its culture, and uh, and being in the middle of San Elian downtown and really trying to bridge that gap. Um, this Tuesday, we have all the Sana, San Eli women that crochet. They're going to come crochet our front house, like just coming to help us out. So we're really feeling the love and the energy because we both have been painting with the Hal Marcuses, with the Escamillas. We've been, you know, trying to just figure out how to make something happen. And now it's here. So it's just destiny, you know, and it's really, it feels special. We have the perfect neighbors in the brewery. We have two available studios coming for any other artists that want to, you know, come and, and uh, make it also happen. And we also have a wood shop area, so it's really exciting. And we're also just in the beginning process of the growth of Texas Tech. So, yeah, we well, you know. We've gotten a lot of support, actually. There's people that came in to help us actually just, you know, put this spot together. They heard what we were doing and they helped come paint walls, paint floors, um, just, came out of the woodwork, so to say. And like when we were building it, people would just were already excited about it. And that's one of the nice things is that um, to see the excitement of an art venture such as this. Yeah, as an artist, you kind of just, it's a dream come true in a weird way. It's not really about anything but having the right platform and, and having excitement. Um, I feel like El Paso in the last few years has, you know, has been, Sat so saturated with talent, but there hasn't been enough There's places been a stagnant to market, and I think that's the thing is that it's been so stagnant that people are are waiting for no, they're waiting for well, any type of change. Yeah. They want to see anything new, exciting come up, and they're willing to support it hundred percent. Now, coming up on February eighth, Galeria Lincoln is going to have their grand opening. They're going to have like music, and they're going to have catered food, and of course, all they're going to miss is you. So make sure you come on out and check out the scene. And their featured artist for their grand opening is none other than local talent AU. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank are you excited you. about this? I'm stoked. Yeah. Awesome. Well, tell me a little bit about your style of work. So my style consists of a little bit of a folk abstract and narration. So I like to do like storytelling within my work using uh, elements such as um, yarn to represent kind of like a more traditional like Mexican uh, indigenous artistry okay. uh, kind of work. But I also like to do like a little bit more of an abstract and contemporary approach to that. Okay, so it's very textile and almost three-dimensional. Yes, it is. It, it is. it does have three-dimensionality, but it, it's mostly 2D. It's okay. just like 
It gives a sensation of culture. Okay, mm -hmm. looking forward to that. So yeah. come meet Ayo and don't miss out on the grand opening for Galeria Lincoln. You can find more details at kisselpaso.com. Thank you.